When it comes to transformations for the square root function, a, h, and k all come back into the scene. Remember that a is a vertical stretch or compression, and if a is a negative, it is a reflection across the x-axis. For example, notice right here, I am going to change my a value. My a value is now 1.5, and you notice this branch climbs up towards positive infinity a little steeper than the regular parent function. And that branch will continue to climb up towards the y-axis the greater the a value is. Now if I slide the slider less than one where it becomes a fraction, notice it's still above the x-axis, but the branch is pretty flat. The branch will not fall below the x-axis until the a value reaches a negative number. So that would be a vertical reflection. I am going to change this back to a positive one where there's not a stretch or a shrink. And let's review what the h value is. Remember the h value is always opposite. So as I move the slider in the positive direction, notice that my graph is shifting to the left. So remember your h value is horizontal movement, it is always opposite. k is your vertical movement and we keep that sign. So if I move the slider towards positive 10, notice that graph is climbing up the y-axis and if k is negative, it falls below the x-axis. So in the next part, we're going to look at some equations and identify what transformations took place.